259. He was born in Cuba, and uh, his parents moved with him to uh, to the USA, and he's been involved or mentored, I guess, by Peter Wis Westbrook Foundation. I don't know that he's ever been on a podium of this of this level, but he beat. World champion Gurgli Siklosi in the eight. And he beat Kuyon Youngjun of Korea in the 16. He's an impossibly tall person. Freilich, who's 28, no, 29, he's world 28. He's a left hander. He was European champion in 2018, along with a lot of other. podium appearances. So here we've, you know, I guess this is the the Cinderella Grand Prix. Okay, we'll get our P yellow cards shown No hit being scored for a minute. Freilich was actually born in Australia. Hi. Well, Freilich flies in with a big beat and can't find find the target. Some pretty stiff defense there from Ramirez. Hi. Well, here we go. Get a second uh, passivity call. So the score will become 1-1. One, one. And if it happens again... Then it is Freilich advancing and Ramirez. Not advancing. Okay, so we won't get another card for sure in uh, in this period, in this first period. So when uh, Ramirez goes by, or when your opponent goes by, without landing a hit, you've got one, you've got one opportunity to land a hit in a single movement as your opponent goes by.
clock is winding down. And we'll go to a one minute break. But the U.S. coach are very keen to have a talk with his uh, charge. When you've got world number 28 up against world number 259, who's it's never been in a place like this before. When I say a place like this, I mean on a podium piste at an FIE Grand Prix. It, it only gets weirder th from here. Double. Now that is Ramirez's first solo hit. Mihal uh, Pagiev tells Ramirez to straighten his breeches. He is he is he is impossibly tall. Double. Freilich with the hit there. Which is good because they uh, they were getting into danger territory for a third card. But there is still room for a third card if they hit 13 seconds. Double.
So Ramirez found the blade and tried to turn, found it, and then tried to disengage, but his disengage was so wide that uh, Frolic was able to complete his task. Time's going to run out here. There we go. We'll go to our second one minute break. But things looking a little better there for yes, Ramirez. three-minute period to sort this out. I don't see Freilich losing this. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. asking Ramirez to make sure his jacket is closed. be quite good finding the blade and controlling it but I think he telegraphed that that attack there and Freilich very quickly with the counter attack Double. Oh, nice little counter stop hit there from Fry like. Yeah. 
Probably only needs two. And this ticket stamped for the gold medal match. Oh, beat on the blade, and Ramirez quickly closes the distance. Still a five-point margin. Oh, nice. See the see a replay on that. I don't think we're going to get one. Uh, Frolic's coach is getting a bit exercised here. It's a two-point match. on the blade and all of a sudden it's it looks like he's you know like spent the day knocking off a world champion Gurgly Siklosi and Kwon Young Jun of Korea and it's a one point match it's a weird level we're level at 13 where has this been where has this been in this match Time runs out in the third and final period. We're level at 13 and we're going to a priority minute. Priority Ramirez. This is the, this is the craziness we've had all day long. Freilich must score to advance to the gold medal match. Ramirez has been on a big run here. Where has this been? Well, there it is. Now... Tied at 13 or tied. In a priority minute, the referee must consult the video before making a call. But that was some squeaky time there for Yuval Freilich. But every match tonight. has ended like this, both in the women's and in the men's. Well, we've, we've got another match to go. You thought that was crazy, it gets even crazier. 
I, I don't think anybody can complain about the fencing at this Grand Prix. 